Hi there, my Leos, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of March. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in a Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on for my Leos. First up, we have the Four of Swords reversed, followed then by Major Arcana, the Emperor, in the upright. And next, we have Major Arcana, the Devil, upright. And next, we have the Ace of Wands reversed. And the Three of Cups in the upright. And then the Knight of Wands upright. Followed by Major Arcana, the Hanged Man upright. And next we have Major Arcana, the Magician in the upright. Followed by the Knight of Pentacles upright. And lastly, we have the Ace of Swords in the upright. Hmm. Two Aces. Two ma Major, three Major Arcana. Okay, let's see what's going on for you guys. First of all, for your overall energy, you have that of the Four of Swords in the reverse position. This is, a lot of people are getting this energy. I guess it must be because it's springtime for a large part of the world and people are returning back into action again. The uh, Four of Swords in the upright position, this can represent a need for rest, recuperation, healing, that kind of thing. Uh, when it's reversed, um, that period is over. Maybe some of you were laid up with uh, health issues or just needing to take a rest, maybe just tired and, you know, um, or healing from a situation. But that's past now. You're returning back to the land of the living again. So there you go. That's good. I know Leos like to move and shake and you guys like to be out there in the world. And... Um, for your crossing energy, you have that of Major Arcana, the Emperor, in the upright position. The Emperor, this is the person who takes control. The Emperor, this is the Aries card. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. If that's a situation, maybe the Aries is kickstarting things for you and bringing you back into the land of the living. The Aries takes control, or the, the sorry, the Emperor takes control of the situation. Um, this could be for some of you, your boss, this could be a love interest, this could be a family member, a friend, what have you. Um, but the emperor, I mean, this is the person who's at the, the top of, of the heap, right? A, a high authoritarian, this can be somebody you're dealing with, like I said, at work. And if that's the situation, maybe they're, uh, they're being very, um, much in command or, or very controlling of how you do things, that kind of situation could be happening for some of you. And for others of you, this could just be you embodying the energies of the emperor. Maybe you're just taking control of a situation yourself. Maybe you're picking yourself up by the bootstraps this month and you're returning yourself back into the land of the living. It's just all about control. Could be a controlled environment, could, could be a controlled situation, something that's, you know, there's just a, a, a strong need for a control for some reason. Remember, it's just a general read, so it's going to be different for all of you. Now, yo, you have four major arcana. Could be a little bit of an intense month for you. In your past, you have the energies of major arcana, the devil, in the upright position. Now, this is something that could have taken place a couple weeks ago or a couple months ago. The devil in the upright position can represent... Um, just sort of obsessive thinking, a little bit of OCD. It can represent for some of you uh, addictions or things that we're doing. Maybe some of you were, you know, being really good, watching your diet and, and so forth. And then all of a sudden the temptation was there and you sort of went off your diet or, you know, you started, you know, smoking again or things like that. It's just going back to old um, obsessions or things that we've done in the past, addictions. Now, for a lot of you, it could just be that you were ruminating a lot in your head about things like a little bit of that OCD energy. But that's past now, Leo. <laughs> coming out of the month of April into the month of, uh, sorry, coming out of the month of February into the month of April, March. Wow. I've, I've got the calendar right in front of me. How did I miss that? Anyway, I must be tired. Uh, we have the energies of three of cups in the upright position. This is very celebratory energy. Maybe some of you um, come, came into the month of March because you're feeling better, you're healed, and you're feeling good, and you just want to celebrate. <laughs> so this is a card that represents celebrations. Can be getting together with co-workers, getting together with good friends, and just having a really good sociable time. Um, 
yeah, it can be um, uh, uh, celebrating a certain event even. Maybe some of you were celebrating a, a wedding or celebrating an engagement party or something like that, or even a reunion. What that energy gives way early in the month to Pajama Man here. We've got the Knight of Wands in the upright position. The Knight of Wands uh, represents something, something, an offer perhaps coming in very quickly. The Knight of Wands doesn't deliberate. This is Quicksilver. He comes in very quickly and he moves just as fast. He doesn't give you a lot of time to deliberate on it. This can sometimes represent an offer for some of you. Say, for example, if you're selling your business or selling your home, it could be that there's a fast offer that comes in fast and furious and, um, on your business or your home. This can represent for some of you uh, a person swooping in and maybe they want to have a passionate um, a passionate affair with you. <laughs> for others of you this can represent travel. Maybe this is an offer to travel somewhere, or to go somewhere, but remember he comes out of the blue and he's just like there and makes the offer. If you don't take it then he leaves just as quickly. So um, you have that going on and in a couple of weeks time we have the uh, Ace of Wands in the reverse position. Um, the Ace of Wands upright, this represents, you know, that this is what the Knight of Wands is bringing in. He's bringing in an offer and then this is the offer that comes out of the Anti-Cosmos can sometimes represent a brilliant new idea that you have that you're really passionate about. Um, this can represent um, uh, yeah, like a new business idea, uh, a travel or something like that. But when the card is inverted like this, this can sometimes point to a loss of passion in a situation. So say for example, you're doing the same old job over and over and over again. You used to love it, now you, you're kind of ho-hum about it. You're realizing that I need to step up or do something maybe different in my job or my career in order to bring the passion back again. Sometimes this can represent for a relationship as well. And for others of you, because the Knight of uh, Wands is here, it could be that this person who's coming in trying to offer you something, if it's whatever kind of offer, business offer or something like that, or an offer on your home, maybe you don't want to take it. That's what it, it's basically saying to me, that this offer is not something you want to take. Even if this is a person who's coming in and, you know, wants to, um, you know, have have a good time and or offering you travel or something, maybe at this time you can't go. Remember, Mercury is retrograde throughout most of March, so there could that could also represent a delay. Maybe they want you to travel now or take this offer now, but you can't, and there's a delay, so... That could be again. It's very hard because I'm, I'm reading for so many different Leos out there It's gonna be different for all of you and this is you internally how you're feeling in the month of March You have this is not necessarily the face you show to the world, but how you could be feeling inside we have the um, hanged man in the upright position this is um, this is a period of like we have to go into sort of like the suspended period of time in order to gain a new perspective on something. Now for some of you, you could just be, the hangman is waiting, but he's waiting comfortably. He's not struggling. He's just sort of pulling back. It could have something to do with this offer that's coming towards you. And maybe you're just not sure about it. And that's why you're not taking this person up on their offer, at least not immediately. Maybe you need to think about it. You need to take some time out to deliberate and to figure out how you could make it work or what the situation is going to require from you and you need to figure that out. So the hangman just sort of um, is in suspense, just waiting to see uh, what he can figure out or what when the energies change around him, when the time is right to move forward but there's a need to gain a new perspective on something. Now it could be for some of you, like I said, if you've lost your passion for work or for a hobby that you do even, maybe you just need to look at the situation from a different perspective and bring in some new elements that will bring the passion or the excitement back again. Now in your people and environment, we have the energies of the, <laughs> the magician in the upright position. The magician is, this could be someone that you, that is directly in your environment or they could be somebody who's sort of manipulating your environment <laughs> somehow. The magician in the upright position knows how to use, uses full confidence and knows exactly how to use all the tools. 
that they have available to them in order to manifest something. Now, if this came up in a different position, Leo, this would be you definitely in full manifestation mode. But because it came up in the environment position, this could be someone in your environment. Maybe you're, you're witnessing or you're watching somebody just like, you know, magically manifesting, you know, things. This could be your partner. This could be your best friend. This could be a coworker, whoever. This person is just like really in full confidence. You could be even admiring it um, and, and maybe taking some cues from this person or learning a trick or two. <laughs> he is the magician. And... Um, yeah, the magician could, like I said, could be someone in your environment who is, uh, that you're admiring what they're doing, but this could also be someone in your environment, just on the other hand, um, that is manifesting things and involving you. And therefore, you know, they're trying to pull you in. It could even be this Knight of Wands here trying to pull you into their uh, scenario or, you know, to make everything work the way they want it to work. So that's just a side note. Again, it could apply to some of you. You'll have to leave a comment in the comment section below if this is resonating for you. Now, in your hopes and fears position, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the upright position. And this is another court card, but th this time it's Earth energy, that of um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, I just looked at this Knight of Wands here because you have two knights here in the reading. And sometimes that can indicate a conflict or, or a fight. But um, I do see the the possibility that perhaps the reason why some of you maybe you don't want to take the uh, knight of wands offer is because maybe you're holding out you're hoping for an earth sign to uh, to offer you something or it could be that you're hoping for something more stable because the knight of pentacles yes he does bring in an offer but his offer tends to be more of stability so say for example if it's a relationship situation the uh, Knight of Wands could come in very quickly, but just want to have like a brief, um, a, a brief affair with you. Whereas the Knight of Pentacles could be coming in to offer you something very stable and very strong. So it could be that you do, Leo, maybe you do like this person, you have an interest in this person, but you were hoping for a more stable offer. For others of you, if this is a business offer or a career offer or something like that, maybe you were hoping that it, you know, had more stability attached to it because perhaps the offer, the reason why you could be turning down the offer is because you don't feel it's very stable. Now, the last card you have up that closes out the month in the read for you is the Ace of Swords in the upright position. Now we're talking, Leo. <laughs> the Ace of Swords is new beginning in clarity. Um, if there was something that you were waiting to get a new perspective on and you needed clarity on, it looks like towards the end of the month you will get the matter will be cleared up and you will, will get your clarity. The Ace of Swords can also represent um, victory. It's a, it's a great energy. I love the Ace of Swords because this is where we can sometimes come in and cut through the crap and just speak our truth and say what we need to say and clear up the matter. This can go the other way too, where somebody else comes in and, you know, cuts through the crap with you and tells you, you know, exactly how it is. Beautiful. Communication is so important in any relationship, be it work situation, uh, family situation, friendships, relationships. Communication is key. It really is. Good communication. <laughs> so that is your reading, Leo. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye-bye for now.